What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. This is the RTH Podcast, man. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm checking in, man. So, um, just here to ask a quick question, bro, for those of you who don't know what's going on, man. Um, Amanda Serrano has just re-signed an MMA-style contract to fight in the PFL. This will be her second appearance to the uh, likes of MMA. Well, she gets an opportunity to wrestle, uh, use her elbows and other limbs, as well as use submission holes and all of that um, inside of a fight, which is fine. Um, I take nothing away from it. I actually think it's very respectable for a person who is a boxer to go to the MMA. I do uh, agree with that because uh, I'm into combat sports in that particular fashion. Um, I, I just dislike when the boxers always force the MMA stars to come to the sport of boxing. That I don't like. You see what I'm saying? So what she's doing, in my opinion, is uh, um, stand-up worthy. Um, it's respectful and the whole nine. But uh, I also have a question about the sport of boxing because uh, what really seems to be the problem is is that uh, she holds – uh, undisputed championship goes in the featherweight division and in the super featherweight division there's also an undisputed uh champion by the name of alicia Baumgarner. garner now uh in certain instances right this didn't seem like it was even possible at all right because you had uh Amanda serrano who was uh face to face with katie taylor they had a very big brawl in madison square garden they had it already inked to to have another fight in uh dublin ireland and uh, Serrano pulls out because she she said that she was injured, okay? Um, and you get the Katie Taylor versus Chantel Cameron scenario taking hold. Well, Katie Taylor loses her first fight ever in the sport of boxing. If you ask me, that was Serrano's win. Because if you ask me, um, that was Serrano's win. Even though Serrano didn't have the best undisputed uh, fight to actually win those championship belts that she won uh, versus, uh, I think her name was Hernandez. Um, she didn't have the best fight to beat Hernandez, in my opinion. She didn't. But I did think that she was going to come back in versus Katie Taylor and dominate. That is my honest opinion. But she never showed up. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is in that aspect. Saying that to say, um, since then, she has uh, gotten back into the ring. And she's fought a lady by the name of Heather Hardy. Now, in my opinion, that fight was not supposed to go down. It wasn't, bro. She should have she should have abandoned that idea. Of fighting Heather Hardy. It was boring. She beat that lady up the whole night. The lady looked very old. Like, I mean, I always like to give, like, uh, a joke to uh, boxers, no matter whether they're male or female, uh, when they step into the ring with somebody who looks old, um, that they fought a, a, a granny or a grandpa, right? Uh, Chris Eubanks Jr., when he fought Lamb Smith, he got knocked up by a grandpa because Lamb Smith showed up with gray hair. Like, you dig what I'm saying? And I always say that about certain scenarios, right? But in Serrano versus Heather Hardy fight, literally, bruh, literally, man, I, I wish I was being funny, bruh. She beat up a granny for real, bruh. Like, I'm not even being funny. I wish I was being funny. It was nothing that Heather could do with uh, Amanda Serrano. She was very sharp on the night. And a lot of people can say the uh, bomb going to Leonardo 2 fight with certain sim uh, something similar. No, it wasn't. First and foremost, um, Leonardo 2 was not Baumgartner's choice. She was forced into that fight uh, with Leonardo 2 because Leonardo 2 didn't fight Michaela Mayer because for some reason she couldn't get, I think, visa access to fight versus Michaela Mayer, right? And so since Mika Michaela Mayer didn't get the fight with uh, Leonardo 2 um, and Baumgartner couldn't get the fight with Serrano, next best option was to fight the lady who already beat her in her career. Saying that to say, though, um, with this newfound idea, to move to the PFL, bro. It's kind of serving the question, why is she avoiding Alicia Baumgartner? Is she afraid? Do she think she's going to lose this fight? Um, and she's not really into the sport of boxing anymore. It, like, because right now she's at an age, like, no, no offense not to call her old, but uh, she's at an age where I'm pretty sure being punched in the face all day ain't, ain't really where it's at, but you signing the contract idea to go to the MMA to use more of your limbs and get hit with different body parts that could really hurt you more so than the cushiony um style 10 ounce gloves in the sport of boxing right so it's, it's i don't know bro i think she i think she ducking bomb garner bro and here's the thing you can go to the pfl that's fine but could you just leave the belts in the featherweight division and maybe you know what i'm saying 
you know, let Tiara Brown get some gold on her waist. And maybe we can get Tiara Brown versus Alicia Bum. I'm going to, but I'm going to read what uh, we had to, uh, in this report from um, Amanda Serrano. She's speaking on going to the PFL. She said, I joined the PFL PPV Super Fight Division because of the revolutionary format that empowers fighters like never before. The PFL commitment to uh, promoting high profile pay per view events is. Uh, some of the biggest MMA stars in the world showcase as incredible opportunities to elevate my career to new heights and prove my abilities beyond uh, just the boxing ring. I know I might be seen as a boxer, but I've always loved training in MMA and jujitsu. Knowing those skills would only add abilities when going up against any opponent, says Serrano. It's up in the sport of boxing because you can't use those things in that particular uh, format of fighting. She says the, the league uh, commitment to gender equality, providing equality, um, opportun- so, sorry, equal opportunities, and uh, recognition to female fighters is also a driving force behind my decision. I can't wait to s- step back into the cage and deliver thrilling performances uh, and unforgettable movements, uh, moments, I'm sorry, moments for fans around the world. All right, so that's just her idea of going to the PFL. It's a great idea for her. Um, equality of genders and being able to be a high-profile uh, um, promotion uh, to see the Octagon and, and kind of get that Amanda Nunes uh, kind of rollout um, in the PFL, a growing establishment to say the least. But then when you when you look at that super featherweight division, you got somebody barking at you though. That's that's the only thing, right? Because if if wasn't nobody like if everybody was saying I don't want to fight Toronto, like if this was a Tim Zoo situation, if this was a a, a Alexander Usyk situation, if this, if this was a Clarissa Shields situation, I can kind of understand, right? I can kind of understand. Hey, she's saying she's going to PFL or this, what it is. But bomb gone, bro. She barking. She barking at Serrano. It says right here. Um, Alicia Baumgartner anxiously wants to tap Amanda Serrano's chin. All right, it's not me paraphrasing. I'm, I'm, this is exactly what the report says. Alicia Baumgartner anxiously wants to tap Amanda Serrano's chin. All right, uh, when asked uh, to Alicia Baumgartner how she thought the fight would play out between herself and Amanda Serrano, here's what she had to say. She said, I would say it's going to end by a knockout. She states um, when she asked about the the particular showdown, she says Amanda Serrano gets hit too much. She says I can see us exchanging punches. I just see a three punch combination, and one of them punches is going to tap her and lights out. All right. So at this point, bro, what's up, Serrano? Can we can we get somebody to go shut up that little bump going on right there? Can you go shut it up for us? You know, can we get this fight? Or are you just going to continue to pretend like the PFL is where it's at? I mean, it's the sport of boxing. I understand. Like like I said, I respect what she's doing. Going to the, that cage and having the fights in the bras in that cage. Because a lot of boxers are just too afraid to go in there, bro. So I can respect it. And if if, if, I, if I ever decide, bro, because I said I'm going to do it. But if I ever decide to go to the, to the MMA side of things, I might have to do a whole other account on YouTube. But if I ever decide to go to the other side and work on mixed martial arts, then I can talk about that. But I, I'm not going to talk about that here because technically, this is a boxing channel, bro. We talk about hands. That's why it's called RTH Podcast. Run them hands. I want to see hands, fists, fists, punching, punching, punching. You know, that's what I want to see. And uh, there's there's an undisputed champion, too. Like, we're we getting, we getting undisputed versus undisputed. Uh, Chantel Cameron. Versus Jessica McCaskill, right? Uh, was that Unspeeded? I think it was. Unspeeded versus Unspeeded. Then you get Unspeeded versus Unspeeded. Um, Katie Taylor versus Chantel Cameron. She's supposed to have been Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor, but Serrano didn't pull up. All right. Now we, we can have it again. Uh, where we, we're going to get it again, right? Jamel Charlo uh, versus Canelo Alvarez. First ever male Undisputed versus Undisputed. Then you're going to get Katie Taylor versus Chantel Cameron again. Undisputed versus undisputed. Can we get Alicia Palm Garner, bruh? Versus Amanda Serrano before she leave. That's all I'm saying. Why 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 hold up why hold up Alicia Baumgartner's career 
when you know there's not nothing else in, in her division for her to be able to do, she really, really, really will be at a disadvantage because she got to come down to your weight class to fight you for your goals, or you can come up to her weight class and fight her for her goals. I don't know how that'll play out, but it is what it is. Or do she just think she gonna lose, bro? I'm gonna ask you guys though, who, who y'all see winning this particular scenario, bro? Cause I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much pushing overtime on this video, and I got one more for y'all before I get out of here, bro. So I'm gonna ask y'all, man, is nephew just nitpicking? Am I nitpicking? Is, is, should I should I hold off a little bit, let Serana go have her fun, and she'll be back? You know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta imagine, bro. <laughs> How long they gonna let her do it, right? And Serrano is like at a superstar status in the sport of boxing. Like she, she's kind of like Manny Pacquiao, Mayweather, uh, Canelo. <clears throat> excuse me, to say the least. She's like those fighters, but she ain't really got to do nothing no more, right? We got a light of fire under her because she ain't really got, and they're not gonna strip her really. Let's keep it real. They ain't gonna strip Serrano. Why would they strip her for? Right? It's going to take everybody complaining and complaining and complaining. She ain't fight Boy I'm going for it to happen. And uh, Alicia Boy I'm going seems to be a little bit cool about it. Like, she ain't really barking like she should be barking about someone not fighting her. I guess to a certain degree, she's like, man, at least I'm undisputed. So it is what it is. Or maybe she's just waiting to see the winner of Katie Taylor and Chantel Cameron. But what if they try to avoid her? Which I don't think Chantel Cameron. Bro, if we get. <clears throat> excuse me. If we get. Uh, Alicia Baum going to versus Chantel Cameron, bruh. That's going to be a beast. But she got to get past Katie Taylor one more time. And they don't even want to let Katie Taylor put her belts on the line. They're going to show you how, how much Eddie Hearn really believe in uh, Katie Taylor. Bro, I'm doing a little too much talking on this video. This is what I'm going to do, man. I'm, I'm going to ask y'all who y'all think going to win this particular scenario if it were to go down between Alicia Baum going and Amanda Serrano. Serrano being a tough lady, man. I'm not taking nothing away from Serrano. He's very strict, very uh, grimy when it comes to a fight style, especially in training, man. You have never seen somebody train their butt off. Uh, the closest female to Floyd Mayweather in training is Amanda Serrano. I take nothing away from her and her abilities to uh, get the job done, show up on uh, to the ring in the best shape and uh, ready to have a great fight. Um, she, she's always in a brawl. She's always in a brawl, but she's pretty much getting the better of the person in the ring. Uh, the only time I've ever seen somebody kind of stand in there with her and stick it out was the Hernandez Cruz uh, fight and the Katie Taylor fight, the one that she loses. Um, as far as uh, Alicia Baumgartner uh, started her career off on a kind of a rocky tip um, and she take her first L. But uh, since then, man, um, has been on a, a full head of steam, has grown into a household name, maybe even be the queen of the sport of boxing. As far as the attraction is concerned, uh, no offense to Clarissa Shields. But uh, just saying what it is, man, um, everybody likes Bum Garner, um, and she always shows up um, looking to grab your attention and bring your eyes to the sport of female boxing. Um, not only that, but she can really fight. She hit really hard. Um, she's working on her defensive game, bro, from what I seen her when I first started watching her fight. She wasn't that defensive. She always had the, the, the power, but she wasn't that, that good defensively. Then I seen her versus Michaela Mayer. And she picked her apart, and Michaela couldn't do shit with Bomb Garner, bro. So at this particular point in time, I don't know who's going to beat her, if anybody, man. This is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bro. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the Community Board Champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.